We've come together in the presence of God to witness the joining together of Samuel and Allie in the bond of marriage. The sacred relationship of marriage was established by God as an example to be followed and is meant to show true love for one another. It is at once one of man's greatest blessings and also one of his most awesome responsibilities. Marriage is not to be entered into lightly, but intentionally as a way to honor God and each other. Marriage is an analogy for Christ and the church. The church submits to Christ and the wife, <clears throat> and Christ gave himself up for the church. The church is synonymous for the wife and Christ is synonymous for the husband. At first glance, it seems that wives are being asked to be submissive and husbands are being asked to give up things for their families. However, this is mutual submission done in love, which brings up the question, what is love? First Corinthians tells us in chapter five, verses four through seven, Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. My wife Gwen and I have had the honor of walking through 12 weeks of premarital counseling with Samuel and Allie. And uh, we've gotten to know each other well. We've uh, talked about many things, family, finances, future plans, how to live life together, how to walk through the challenges that will come their way. And if I've learned anything about them, it's that they share a deep, intense love for each other. Samuel and Allie wish for me to share with you a part of what makes this day significant for them. Samuel and Ellie met at a small economics conference on May 24th, 2018 at Clemson University. Samuel was tasked with helping set up for the conference and Allie was working the conference with her summer internship. After parking her car behind the stadium and walking a mile in the summer heat, Allie saw Samuel setting up outside the conference building. She went inside, freshened up, and went to ask her boss who that guy was. At that conference, Dr. Andrew Bernstein stated in a speech that love is, a, love is and properly should be a relentless and ceaseless quid pro quo with nobody keeping score. 